Good morning, Tenar. I hope you're all alright today on Friday morning. Um, now, this is going to be the last tutor time in quite a while because obviously we're going into the Easter holidays. So, we'll have two weeks of no tutor. Um, but still during Easter, I'll be on the end of an email if you do need anything. What we're going to talk about today will hopefully help you, help you through the Easter holidays of your families. But first, I just want to ping through some notices here, Tem. Alright, so I'll start with the news update. So, uh, the big news from Corona is it was a bad day yesterday. As we said, it would be 500 deaths around, just under, which is a huge amount. And the government being really badly criticised, they're not testing NHS staff. There's a lack of equipment. They said, oh, there's going to be loads of new ventilators. And then there's like 30. We need thousands. So, rightfully so, the papers are attacking the government because they are absolutely terrible and they always have been but anyway let's talk about something else let's talk about getting through easter with your family so i wanted to go through how to deal with your family during lockdown now not only do i have an annoying family but i don't live with them but obviously you know i live with lauren and she is the most annoying person to share a house with ever let me give you some examples of what lauren does so you know when you eat something say if you had a packet of crisps lauren will whenever wherever she's finished that packet of crisps she will put that packet of crisps down. So say if she eats it on the couch, she'll just put it on the couch and walk away and just leave it for days. If I wasn't there for days. Um, the same thing with everything. Say like if something's empty, like a bottle she's drinking out of, just leave it. Like shampoo, just leave it. This is it. Um, clothes, when she gets changed, whatever she's wearing will be on the floor. And that's it. it. It will never be picked up until I pick it up. And then, like, she's just so annoying, like bins as well, right? So we used to live in flats. Now we live in a little house. But we had a flat first. And when we are moving out, like, I was taking all these bin bags down. Because you throw loads of stuff out when you move out. And I said, can you take that one? Because I can't handle it. And we went down. And she's, like, in front of me. And she put it in this bin. I said, no, don't put it in there. That's like the gardener's bin. And she said, oh, well, where are the like communal bins? And I was like, Lauren, we've lived in this flat for three years and you don't know where to take the bin bag out. Because in three years, she'd never taken a bin bag out, which just shows. So I know what it's like to live with an annoying family member. However, these are my tips that I've affected. These are the things to do. By the way, if you ever meet Lauren, never talk about this. So number one. I know it looks silly, but stay away from members of your family as much as possible because like the less or fewer interactions you have, the better you'll get on. It's better to like miss people and be away from them and then go to see them. You will get on better with them because you'll make the effort. Whereas if you're just together all the time as you will be in lockdown in the same house, they're going to get on your nerves even more. Second thing to do is think about this you've got to make an effort if you want people to make an effort for you you've got to make an effort to them number two ask to help your mom or dad or whoever you live with out saying mom can i help you with the washing up dad can i help you with the cooking anything like that just doing a little thing even if it's like a 10 minute task your parents will appreciate it and it will just make the mood in the house a bit nicer same as number three do one nice thing a day to your annoying brother and sister no matter how annoying they are i know some of you've got like really young brothers and sisters if you just do one thing nice to them one thing special say if they're young and they want to play with you if you say right i'm going to play this stupid game that i'm too old for for 10 minutes of you and then i've got to go back to work and then just do that honestly that will just give that tiny bit of happiness to the house which will make everything better all right number four obviously we're going into easter now but um have a routine for easter as well but stay in school routine then you're just at school you can't get involved with anything because you've got to do your school work that will really help five and six uh like really are to get on with everyone don't antagonize your mom and dad that means don't annoy them so keep your room clean and tidy like don't leave a packet of crisps on the couch like wash up your glass if you've been doing it if you're making a cup of tea ask other people to do it if you just do these little things that won't annoy your mom and dad and then you'll avoid a lot of arguments and a lot of like bad blood in the house so keep it nice all right number six do family time even if it's cringe even if and i know your teenagers like you don't want to do it oh my god or you're just you're just gonna have to suck it up do that family time because your mum, your dad, and they'll appreciate it. Because to be honest, they won't say it, but they'll be absolutely sick of having you around as well. Um, so make sure that you do those family time things. If your mum wants to play Scrabble, or she wants you to talk to your nan on the phone for 10 minutes because your nan's alone, 
you just got you just got to do it mate you've got to do it like stand up and be counted this is this is a really really serious time in the whole world so yeah you have to talk to your nan for 10 minutes on the phone that's what you got to do do your bit make everyone happy and then finally you're bound to be frustrated and annoyed do some exercise take out your annoyance and then when you're getting tired and your reps exercise what i like to do is bring in those thoughts of frustration but like, oh my god do you remember when she left that packet of crisps and she stuffed it down the side of the couch like then you can run a few more miles and you'll feel it so get it down and then after your exercise if you've really focused you can just get rid of all that stress just get rid of it and be like right i feel better now I've taken my aggression and anger out um do that rather than strangling your brother so those are my tips for uh, dealing with your annoying family use them try them out i promise you you'll be happier in lockdown with your family right guys this is the last time for two weeks i'll make uh, another tutor when we come back if you need me you can email me i might be away from my email for like a day but i will check them all the time they just come to my phone so make sure you do that if you've got any problems big or small have a great sort of holiday no one's going anywhere have a great break from school Guys, I'll see you when we come back.